Welcome to Everything Wellness with Army. Thank you so much for joining me in today's podcast episode as we talk about your habits and how it affects your overall wellness. What are you struggling to accomplish in your life is the question we will start with. Ask yourself, what is stopping you or seems like obstacle in your way? Are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to learn something new? Or are you trying to eat a healthy diet? The answers for the questions above could be plenty. But if you really go deep within yourself and look at your lifelong habits, you may find your answer. So, what is a habit? Habits are automatic behaviors that repeat without us having to think about them. Right? It's like automatic. <laughs> you just do it. You do it so long for over a period of time, it just becomes a habit. So how can you change a habit? First, you identify the habit you want to change. Then think about the reward you will get from stopping or changing this habit. We change our habits by changing our routine to a new rewarding one. Every habit gives you something that you enjoy. Most common reasons for your habits are pleasure, excitement, comfort, avoidance, and lack of consequences. Like, for example, you eat everything you want without caring how it affects your body, right? But the consequences may not show themselves now, but maybe in the future, we will face the consequences. So in order for you to succeed, you will need to create goals that are specific and attainable. Write down your goals, which will help you stay on track and provide additional motivation on your path for transformation. Try to avoid temptation. As an example, if you're trying to eat healthy, don't keep buying junk food, right? Choose something to replace the unhealthy habit. Come up with one reason why you shouldn't continue with this habit. Habits don't change overnight, so take baby steps and remind yourself that you are human. If you fail for some reason, find out the reason instead of giving up. Start a new habit. New habits can always be easy to start and it will light up your desire for self-improvement and self-care. Daily small changes matter, like you could park your car as far as from the door so you could take a walk there, you could take the stairs instead of the elevator, Uh, you could include fruits or vegetables with every meal, If you're sitting for a long period of time, you could just get up and stretch every hour. You know, take a short walk around the block whenever you can. These are just a few examples. Uh, You could start a new habit. New health habits can always be an easy way. Uh, Instead of changing your habit, you could just include a new habit, new routine in your already existing daily life. So if you do the same thing every day and make no change to your daily habits, how can you expect a different outcome? Let's say you're struggling to achieve a weight loss. You have a goal, you know, you you want to lose weight. And um, let's ask the question, why is it important to you to lose weight? Let's say to become a healthy person and prevent being sick in the future, right? The consequences. So now you figured out your reason. Let's ask the next question. What do you need to do in order to achieve your goal? The answer is to change your habits. The habits you created and depended on, or maybe you took shelter in. As an example, let's say you are a person work in a company from 9 to 5 and have to sit in front of a computer and do your work. In the morning you wake up (coughs) and stop by your favorite coffee shop and get your usual breakfast which includes coffee and a bagel or a muffin. For lunch you ordered pizza and you got your potato chips as snack in the afternoon. 
As you do something repeatedly for approximately 28 to 30 days, that develops as a habit. We are creatures of our habits. So what we do every day really matters. Let's say now it's after work, you're tired, you order some kind of fast food and you're home for dinner. So let's just take a look at what you ate all day and ask yourself, is it healthy or does it support what you want to achieve? The answer is clear. No, it does not. (laughs) If you go to the office every morning and stop by your coffee shop every day before work, will you be able to just get your coffee and leave without a bagel or a muffin? If your answer is yes, you can That's it. That's a great start. Or will you get tempted to get your usual breakfast like you did for X amount of months or years? The process of changing your habits is not easy, but if you want to achieve your goal, it's necessary. If you think about it in anything you want to achieve and accomplish in life, you need to make the necessary changes in your life. Take one step at a time by changing one thing you do every day and replacing that habit with a healthier one. In this case, making your delicious breakfast at home and taking it with you is the first step. As you do this every day, it will turn into a new healthy habit. And maybe in the future, you will take your lunch with you. You know, you will enjoy doing your breakfast and next step will be your lunch. As you will notice the difference in your energy levels and emotional satisfaction of getting closer to your goal will empower you. You will feel much better. Uh, As you see and feel the changes in you that will encourage you to take the next step, maybe go for a walk after you eat your lunch, right? Why not? Take one step at a time. Do not overwhelm yourself. To do everything at once and once you miss one step, you'll just quit doing it all and just give up. Just think about it. Just think about the past. Let's say you were a student and let's say you were in high school and you're studying for a test. And let's say you separated your time every day, let's say for an hour and you studied. When the test day comes, you feel ready no stress you're good for it but if you try to study all that material in one night and go to that test that's gonna overwhelm you stress you you're not gonna feel ready you're gonna be all anxious it's just like the same thing just one step at a time just uh, plan your day what you need to accomplish in our example it was a weight loss but this, this applies for everything. It's just one little change in your habits. And you could apply new habits to the habits that you already have and slowly change them, right? Let's say you love coffee. You love that coffee shop. But you already made your breakfast at home. You could just go get your coffee that you love. Why not? It's just... The most important thing is don't overwhelm yourself. Because when you overwhelm yourself, it's easy to quit. And you're like, okay, I don't want to do this. (laughs) It's stressing me out. So just one step at a time. If you think you can do it, then you will do it. You have the power within you. Just start with asking yourself the question, why and how? And just start with one change. Like the example we gave before, breakfast taken from home instead of buying it outside. As long as you take one step at a time and don't overwhelm yourself to make all the changes at once, you will be achieving your goals. That's for sure. So the most important uh, steps in changing habits, right? is to take baby steps just to have the right mindset. Let's say you want to you want to get some some you want to go a supermarket to get some food for dinner. If you have a 
shopping list ready with you, it will be much easier, faster. You will be in and out instead of just walking through the aisles. Second step. If you have a meal plan for the next couple of days ahead of you, it will be in and out of the kitchen. You won't be dwelling and thinking, what am I going to eat today, right? It's planned out. You already know. You shopped for it. You had your shopping list. You had your meal planned. You, you have much more free time, right? You don't have to walk around the aisles. What do I want to get? What do I want to buy? <laughs> And the next thing is your your meal plan is ready. You're ready to go. You cook it and you have more time left in your hands. So if you plan things ahead of time, it will be much easier on you. And if you have a big family, kids, it will be much easier, you know, using your time efficiently. And also making some time for yourself to relax Because, you know, life is stressful in every way, especially nowadays. So just whatever makes you happy, listen to the music makes you happy. Or maybe just sit in silence. Or maybe just take a new hobby that you always wanted to do. Or, you know, take your favorite book that you didn't read. It's been sitting there. (laughs) Maybe you're halfway there. It's not finished. Just make me time, you know, your time. It's you. Even if it's an hour or 30 minutes or 45 minutes a day. These are the little steps. Just taking the stairs instead of the elevator. You know, just maybe if you walk the same route, let's say you're walking to work. Just use different streets, different roads. Just expose yourself to, even though, (laughs) let's say you live in the same neighborhood, but you, you know, you walk to certain streets, but you never change your way to another street because you're used to it. It became a habit, right? (laughs) So it's always good to explore new things also. You know, just also explore yourself. This goes for everything. And one important thing also, just to limit your time exposing yourself to social media or TV, you know, the time vampires also includes people. (laughs) Sometimes, you know, maybe you have this type of people or not. You will have friends around. They'll just be bored and calling you and talking about stuff that doesn't, you know, doesn't fit in your schedule at that moment, but you're so polite, you don't want to hang up the phone. (laughs) You know, just boundaries, limitations, schedules, planning. But these things won't happen overnight. And there's something good to realize one step at a time. So I just want to thank you for joining me today. I will be back for the next podcast episode every Monday. You can find out more about me at armieswellnessrx.com. I wish you a beautiful day. Take care and see you next Monday. Bye.